the New York City Human Rights Commission uh, gave black people special rights to wear their hair any way they want. Let's have a listen. New York City's Commission on Human Rights starting today, spelling it out for employers banning natural hair or hairstyles are considered racial discrimination. Imposing Eurocentric values of what is professional or neat or beautiful uh, or proper, that has no place in New York City. The law will also be enforced outside of the workplace, like at nightclubs, gyms, and schools. Demoya Gordon used to work at a large law firm and says it wasn't until recently she felt comfortable wearing her hair down. It's harmful, not just emotionally or psychologically, but physically and financially. Now she's working with the city to investigate seven cases of racial discrimination based on hair, including someone being told their afro was too high. She hopes the rule put an end to discrimination well when you hear that and uh, tim this is for you you know there's the old movie line with fletch he's six five with the afro six nine pretty good dribbler all right the reason why that is a huge story and it's been misreported everywhere is this is not a story that says that you can't discriminate against people because of their hairstyle it's a law that says that black people can't be discriminated against because of hairstyles that they choose. So if you had two identical uh, candidates for a job, they both go to be hired for the job, and let's say they both have giant ZZ Top style beards, and they both go for jobs at the sleek new modern Manhattan restaurant uh, who would never put somebody like that uh, out front in a hostess uh, type position or customer service position because they don't fit the image of the restaurant which, by the way, is not a Euro, what is it, Eurocentric beauty standard image. It's a modern, sleek city image. It has nothing to do with being Eurocentric. But anyway, let's say those two people presented themselves and both applied for the job. Well, guess what? They can tell the white guy to go shave his beard because he's white. But this law gives black people special rights. Because you're black, you don't have to accommodate any request like this regarding your hair. Uh, There may be some provisions in there if you work around like machinery or something like that for physical safety. But other than that, it literally is the first law I've ever heard of in my life that just applies to black people. It's a special right just for black people. You get to have your hair any way you want. So then, of course, I'm thinking, well, what constitutes a black person, right? Does Barack Obama, who's biracial, does he get to wear his hair any way he wants or... Do you have to have, you know, is it a one-drop rule like uh, Hitler or uh, Elizabeth Warren would have us uh, use? No, it's anybody who just identifies as black. So I guess it's not really uh, a rule that matters at all in terms of discriminating against non-black people because you just say, well, for purposes of my uh, Fu Manchu here, uh, I'm a black guy, I guess. So that's not the problem, really. The problem is the burden that this places on employers. Uh, You heard that woman who's running around trying to sue people for hair discrimination. Think of all the burdens it takes to run a successful business, offer people jobs or employment. All you do is make it more trepidatious to hire, to even offer a job. You you see some black guy come in and he's got like a sketchy hair situation, dreadlocks or weird stuff going on that doesn't fit with the image of the business that you're running. You know, I'm not talking about a telemarketing firm or who cares. There are public facing businesses that want people to look a certain way. It's part of their image. And in spite of what that social justice warrior progressive person looks like, uh, not all business owners in New York are white or Caucasian. You could have a black person have a business that wants people to have a certain look. Well, just made it harder to, to, to employ somebody in New York. Congratulations.